I just saw this tweet from Father Thomas Berg about uh, Monsignor Archbishop Paglia's comments on euthanasia. And I also read the article in Italian. So when I saw this tweet, I just have to agree f- and I'll just read it out. I've read Paglia in Italian and listened to his remarks. In mostly Italian ecclesiastical word salad, he does make a pragmatic and utilitarian observation, in quote, supporting a proposed Italian law to decriminalise assisted suicide under certain conditions. What's more problematic in his intro? The church really has no truth to present here. Our moral claims evolve in a constant dialogue between culture, magisterium and the lived experience of people, each enriching each other. That's a sad caricature of how we come to know moral truth. Missing words from Paglia's remarks. Jesus, gospel, grace, intrinsic evil. His idiotic remarks serve zero purpose in the cause of defending the human dignity of human life and overcoming throwaway culture. And I fully agree with Father Thomas. I also read that article in Italian today. And I, I just said, well, what is this guy saying? You know, he's just saying, well, let's give in and let's give in. You know, you're proposing this. Oh, we'll meet you halfway. Let's have a dialogue here about, you know, assisted suicide. It's, it's the same in the abortion referendum in Ireland. Oh, it's it's going to be rare. And it's going to be, you know, we went from 2000 abortions a year to 6,666 abortions when it was legalized. Because, you know, once we start down this path, where do we end up? Where do we end up? So it's a sad time in the church when we have the president of the Pontifical Academy of Life. I kid you not. The Pontifical Academy of Life. The president of the Pontifical Academy of Life. Throwing us under the bus and not stepping in to defend human life from conception to natural death. Providing um, a counterbalance to this onslaught of the destruction of life. Because it's not just abortion. It's not just euthanasia. They want to kill kids after they've born if they're not perfect. We're back to pre-Roman times when a child wasn't uh, perfect. You know, they could just put it out in the cold and it would die off. Are we, are we going there? You know, Christianity is different. It's different to what the world has to offer. Anyway, God bless Father Thomas for giving us some balance in this argument i've seen other people come out but i really do think uh, the church needs to have a wake-up call and that guy who had himself painted naked into a mosaic you know what is he smoking i ask what is he smoking um because i did read the article in its original italian and, and i was just there saying well where did this guy pull this from um, you know, he's kind of speaking as if he is some intellectual rather than being speaking as an archbishop of the Catholic Church. Oh, God bless you. Take care. Bye bye.